we are live on YouTube right now and um, I'm gonna see if there's something everything looks good the sound on YouTube is good um, the sound on Bitchat looks good uh, okay so Bitchat guys I hope you can hear me if you hear me uh, six views already that's good that's fast in two minutes time um, two likes awesome seven viewers welcome guys give me a second I want to make sure that the sound is good that you guys hear me uh, properly and of course um, in uh, a minute the show will start all the basics are ready we're gonna have a nice meal today I will tell you everything about it in a couple of minutes I'm just collecting some more viewers so uh, right now as a guy you see the stove and in a minute we will go back to camera number one to start the show and um, it's gonna be an awesome show it's gonna be an interesting show and it's gonna be a show that um, you're not gonna forget In the background, maybe guys, you hear some uh, Elmo. Of course, my son's all into the Elmo. So we're ready. Let me heat up my walk calmly. Okay, guys, six o'clock. Let me start Facebook up. And um, let me go to camera number one. Uh, Big channel, already 17 viewers. Welcome. YouTube, welcome. Facebook, welcome. Neil and with Peter today here broadcasting. Want to say hi? Thank you. I did that you want. I explained that you want. You could get an RJ with the Spain, you want. No, you got me? Yeah, yeah. Forget it. Yeah, okay. My son wanted to say hi to you guys, but he had a specifier in his mouth and he didn't want to take it out, so I was trying to pull it up. And he was like, no way, man. I'm not going to get on television. I don't want to lose my pacifier. So, okay, guys, welcome here. Facebook, Big Chat, and YouTube, and Twitter, of course. Don't forget, we got a new channel that's live connected to these channels. And uh, today, we're going to have an awesome meal. We're going to cook some Asian food. We're going to cook some Asian food, but of course, with a Dutch, Dutch 
think on it because I make it. And of course, in the Netherlands, we love Asian food, but to really cook Asian food, you really have to work in an Asian kitchen or you have to be in, in an Asian country for a while because the Asians, they have an awesome kitchen. They have a very big kitchen. Um, they use a lot of different ingredients. They work with a lot of fresh ingredients. And um, I love the Asian kitchen. Uh, only, of course, you have to be careful with the meat if you're going to go to an Asian country and you're going to eat some meat. Mm, you know what I mean? You never really know what you're going to get. If it's cat, if it's dog, if it's rat, or if it's really pork or chicken or beef. Uh, beef and chicken. Um, I mean, chicken is okay, but beef and pork in Asian countries is very expensive. So often they sell you something over there and it's uh, not what you think it is. So again, um, they're very good in making something taste good. So okay, that was a short introduction. Today, me and Leo Peter, um, uh, we're going to cook some Asian, again, what I told you, but I'm going to use a wild rice. So I got a nice wild rice here. I already have uh, water right now uh, uh, because that rice needs to rest. It needs to, it first boil, it has to be done. It has to rest for a little bit. So I have some water with butter in there. It's already boiling. So I'm just going to put the wild rice in there. You see some nuts in there, some uh, pine nuts, uh, some uh, black rice, some white rice. And I love wild rice. It's a beautiful flavor. It's a beautiful rice, and it's very uh, um, rich in nutrition. Um, so okay, let that put that rice in that water, and of course we got the seasonings with that. So I got a nice little bowl of seasonings, and um, it's dried peppers, it's uh, ginger, it's garlic, it's a little salt, a little pepper, uh, it's cumin, and ah, that smells good. I'm gonna put that with the rice, just. Stir it a little bit, and I'm starting with that because again, it, it takes a while, and of course, I just want to make sure that it's all ready in 30 minutes so I can show you the end result. So, rice in water with some pepper, as well. I said it's dry pepper, it's dry carrots, uh, ginger, salt, pepper, garlic, a uh, little cumin. It's a very nice uh, combination of seasonings, and we just bring it back to the boiling point. I'll put the lid on it so it boils quicker. Um, as you see, um, I'm going to use a wok. Um, I see already a lot of people are uh, watching on Facebook. Awesome. Hi, guys. Welcome, Milan Dilbo Peter. Uh, I salute you. And again, uh, Big Chat. And uh, of course, we got YouTube and Twitter. Welcome, guys. I salute you. Uh, welcome to the Milan Dilbo Peter show. Those that just jumped in, um, I'm going to cook some Asian today. So I use some wild rice with the water. Uh, leave the lid on it, but just keep it a little open. You know what I mean? Keep it a little open so uh, the steam can get out and it doesn't cook over the pan. The wok, I'm already heating that up a little bit. But first, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I'm going to use today. Um, of course, I'm going to use also a pineapple. I love pineapple, I love fruit, and I love fruit, some fruits in dishes. And in the Asian kitchen, when you're going to wok stuff, um, uh, add some fruit at the end of it, and it will give, give absolutely a beautiful extra dimension to your meal. Uh, so it's, it's an awesome dish. It's a, a dish that you're going to finish up with some nuts and some fruit, and it will absolutely give a beautiful end result. So that's the pineapple. Then I got a mixture in vegetables. I got uh, white mushrooms, I got shards, uh, onions, garlic. I got some uh, broccoli, of course. And like I almost cook every time with broccoli because of the nutrition. And meal new Peter, it's not about fancy food. It's not food. It's not about food that you can buy anywhere because it's so exclusive. No. Meal new Peter is about cooking fast fit food for your family, making sure that they got all the nutrition that they have. And ingredients that you know and you know and you know where to get. So meal and deal Peter is about fast, simple, fit food for everybody with a high nutrition. So again, um, this is a mixture of onions, garlic. I, I use a lot of garlic and I use a lot of onions, uh, green peppers, white mushrooms, charlots, um, and broccoli. Then, of course, I'm going to use some coconut fat. I'm going to use some coconut fat because I love coconut fat. It has no flavor. It has a good nutrition. It's got omegas in there. 
and it can be heated up almost like it's it's the fat that you can heat up the highest of all fats and you can use some sesame oil can get very high um, you got another oil now but they're very um, uh, you don't have a lot of oils that can get up to that heat without getting burned or without getting damaged so I'm gonna use coconut fat and um, then I have some chicken I got some chicken tenders and the chicken tenders I marinated them this morning in a soju sauce with ginger orange juice um, crushed peppers roasted peppers um, fresh garlic uh, tomato paste um, Oh, what do they have put more in there? Um, I had some ginger already, but this is already in here since this morning. So uh, it's a chicken tenders that I cut up in little thin bars, and so it's go fast in the wok. It go fast. It's going to cook it fast, and we're going to start with the chicken later on. We're going to add the veggies. Uh, of course, like in the Chinese kitchen, if you go to a wok restaurant, they're going to steam the veggies a little bit uh, before, or they're going to uh, put it in, in water. In hot water like a couple of minutes before they're going to put it in the wok i'm not going to do that because i i don't want it i want to keep all the nutrition as high as possible and i'm just going to walk everything uh, it takes you maybe one minute longer uh, to do it like that but your meal has much more bite it has much more nutrition and don't forget the chinese kitchen if you go to a chinese person there's always a nice bite in your veggies so i'm going to make sure that i have that yes buddy what is that oh yeah. yeah, Elmo is on. Um, so, I, you know what I mean? That's why I do this. That's why I'm cooking here, guys, for uh, what you are looking at right now. So give me a second here. Um, because right now I see I got a uh, disconnection on VidChat. My television is on the internet and, and my wife is on her laptop. So I'm just going to make sure that um, I'm uh, bitch is gonna stay online before I'm gonna do anything else uh, um, it, it, that is all nice and, and sweet but that's too late um, so no matter guys I'm, I'm, I'm still here um, <laughs> I, I see uh, hey thank you you uh, the gang stay I hope that all's good with you and I hope that you have a good job in the ziekenhuis and that you have a good job in there and maybe you work with me for the McDonald's but I don't know of course because I've seen you for three years I gave you just a moment to drag the lights I have to make sure that in any case I am where I am where I am and that is natuurlijk so uh, one of my first creations, so I'm talking Dutch to you guys, but uh, that is because I'm uh, concentrating on what I'm doing right now. So of course I have to make sure that um, Bidget is going well and that I don't have no problems with uh, the... gave me the possibility to make this work. So, okay. And of course, don't forget on BitChat, Neil and Dilbert Peter is collecting money for good causes. Uh, I'm collecting money for um, money train and uh, small train and uh, build up. And there is uh, organizations for kids that need uh, school supplies or kids that wants to make a, a trip to uh, a zoo, to uh, an entertainment park or whatever. And they don't have the possibility to do that. So Milan Dio Pilar is a part of that organization. I support those kids. So you can always donate money uh, to my uh, site on Bidjet or private message on Facebook or wherever you can reach me out. And I will make sure that money is going to get there for 100% if it's not 110%. So, okay. Um, here we are back again. Uh, okay. So, um, let me just, my rice is going to cook very slowly. Awesome. Okay, so there are my ingredients. I'm going to start right now. I'm going to switch for uh, Facebook and um, I'm going to switch for, I mean, uh, Twitter and Big Chat and YouTube to camera number two. Uh, I'm just making sure that the lightning is proper 
and the view is good absolutely we're doing a great job okay guys so here we go um guys i hope you can see it facebook i will turn around the camera a little bit i'm going to walk today this is a beautiful walk that i bought a while ago it's for a walk burner outside uh, i have a very big walk burner outside and it's an awesome burner and um, with the walk it's a special material you can all wash it with soap you cannot put it in a dishwasher you cannot really do anything with it and just treat it like a lady uh, you have to be good for it and you can only rinse it you have to oil it before you use it you have to heat it up very slowly and um if if that all is done then you can start using it in a proper way but it's always repeating itself uh, salute uh, welcome viewers welcome everybody and uh, right now the show is uh, 10 minutes on its move rice is almost done we're boiling and my walk is getting warm right now uh, what i told you guys i'm going to use some coconut fat coconut fat is a product that i fell in love with like i think like 12 years ago it's like a very strong fat i will show you it's like white it looks like a little like butter it ain't uh hey Tain. oh yeah good uh yeah it's got here good uh good bezig hopelijk over via in the ziekenhuis and then we now steeds by the gouden drietand <laughs> Okay, super. Hey, dan onthouden heb de gouden drie dan. En uh, uh, ja, met mij gaat het allemaal goed, jongen. Ik ben zonder mager en ik heb uh, een, een, een nieuw leven hier waar ik uh, hard voor gewerkt heb, Teun. Maar het gaat allemaal gewoon goed. En ja, je moet er onthouden. Ik heb natuurlijk van niks heb ik iets opgebouwd. Dus uh, je moet altijd even geduld hebben uh, voordat je weer op de uh, op het niveau bent waar je was natuurlijk in Nederland en ik ben daar bijna, ik kom voor zo kom met heel veel nieuws uh, op Facebook en uh, daar wacht ik nog heel even mee maar er, er, er gaat iets goeds gebeuren, er is iets goeds gebeurd dus dat komt later oké, okay, that was for my Dutch friend in the Netherlands, Teun van de Kooi hey, applaus voor Teun Teun, ik zie jou uh, hopelijk snel, want ik hoop dat ik in 2017 begin uh, april naar Nederland kom voor eventjes maar oké okay. Dat is dat. We gaan weer terug naar het wokken. We gaan weer terug naar de kitchen of Milan Deel Peter. And my rice is going well. It's going properly. I'm going to take the lid off. I want to put the fire a little lower. And that rice is almost done. After that is done, I'm going to put the lid on and let it rest for like 10, 15 minutes. That way that wok is hot. Make sure that um, it's not too hot, of course, but that the oil, the coconut fat that I use, it's absolutely a stunning fat. It's a good fat. And um, you just have to make sure that you spread it around and that the wok is hard enough. And in the beginning, you're going to start with some onions and garlic. We're going to sort of that a little bit. You saute that a little bit. And uh, of course, um, when that's done, we're going to put the chicken in. So that wok, you can test it. I told you before. You can put some water on your hands. And you hear that? That's music. That's music in my ears. So that walk is hot. So my onions and garlic are going in there. So okay. Make sure that you stay with your product and you stir it around. I prefer to use a wooden wooden spoon because it's just better for the walk. You don't damage the metal and you don't get any flavors to the product. So, okay, and make sure that this fire stays high because you're walking. You see that in the Chinese restaurant, that fire is as high that it's almost reaching the ceiling. You know what I'm talking about? So, okay, stare it around, guys. I see that I got a lot of comments here. Kim, uh, good to see you. Maria Jose is watching. Guys, awesome. Uh, yeah, Big Chat is acting up again, I see. I'm sorry for the guys on Big Chat. It's my wife and my son that are taking away all the electricity right now. Um, so, okay, next time I just have to make sure that they are in the house when we make the show. <laughs> so, um, Big Chat is acting up. Um, but YouTube, you can go still to my page on YouTube. Uh, under the name Peter Oxnall, if you don't have a, a right uh, connection on Facebook, guys. So, uh, okay, we just gonna stir up the onions, garlic, just for a little bit, you know, making sure that it's after that. I'm gonna add the chicken uh, that I marinated this morning. 
and not at all. Everything is getting in there. Again, also, if you go to YouTube, guys, you have a second camera. The second camera is on top of the stove, so you can see everything from the above. So that is absolutely um, a good ad for the show, if you know what I mean. So that chicken, steer it, man, and make sure that the fire is on the highest spot you can get. Don't burn your hands on the wall. Hey, there he is, my savior guy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Come here. Say hello, everybody. Hey, give me that. Give me that. What's up? Say hello. Hi, everybody. Okay, okay. We just need to look at this camera. Um, camera two. Hey, hello, big chat. Hello, YouTube. Hello, hello, Facebook. Hello, Jim Leibich. Hello. 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 <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay. Push. Mwah. Mwah. Okay. There you go. Go entertain mommy. Go entertain mommy. So, okay. My rice. I'm. My rice is almost done. Um, I'm going to put the lid on it. It's boiling on a very low fire. I don't want to brush it. In the meantime, make sure that you keep stirring that chicken with that iron. Um, from the summer, this summer that's going to come, I'm going to, of course, take you outside in my backyard. And we're going to make a, a show outside in my backyard. And then you will see my wok burner and you will see um, my grill. And then you will... See also the water that I have goes very, very quickly. It goes like 10 times as quick as what I'm doing right now. Uh, but of course, with inside, but I had, I needed some Asian food. So uh, you know how it goes, the buddy's asking for something and you just really want it. So of course, um, you always have to give your buddy what he's asking for. So um, let me just see what we're gonna have here and uh, make sure that you keep steering. Make sure you keep moving that chicken around. Make sure that it always stay dancing and that it doesn't sit still. Uh, again, it's on the inside stove, so I already knew this. It's going to, the show is going to take a little longer because I got a big amount of chicken and I have a big wok, but it's only a smaller stove. So right now, my rice is almost done. Uh, I have to start cutting some pineapple. So the pineapple that I'm going to cut, I'm not going to use completely the whole pineapple, of course, because that's going to be way too much. Um, so we're just going to use a part of it, but uh, we like to eat pineapple here in this household. So I'm just going to make sure that everything that I'm using is going to be um, cut up in little pieces, and what I'm not using, I'm gonna leave it like long bars, so it will not dry out too much. Tomorrow night, we're gonna eat it all, so that's gonna be okay. Um, so again, make sure that you keep steering. The chicken is gonna get already this close, and oh, it smells so good. You really smell all the ingredients that are inside of there. You smell the ginger, you smell the garlic, you smell the the crushed peppers, the crushed peppers that I put all in that in that marinade. The ginger is there. Um, I love, I love, I also love this wok. This wok, I, I'm, yeah, it's like my second wife, if you know what I'm talking about. It's an awesome wok, and um, it's very easy to use, but you just have to maintain it in the right, proper way. And this wok is uh, not cheap. It's not, it's not that you can say, oh, let me, you know, buy a wok like that, because it's not, but it's absolutely worth it. So, uh, to make, thank you all, make it again koken. I'm sure you're going to koken, jongen, and I make it always from it. Thank you, and I wish you all the best with you and your family, of course. Let me just even look at it here. Just, uh,
Oh, so I smell everything very well right now. And again, I'm just trying to restart Bichet because Bichet fell out again. That chicken is half winged. So what I'm gonna do right now is they, those veins, those veins needs to get in here. So I'm gonna throw all my veins in there. And I already mix them with a little bit of oil, so it will be nice and smooth. When I'm gonna put them in there, and they will not be fried to the bottom of the pan. Uh, for the rest, I didn't use no seasoning. So, okay. Veggies are in there. Yeah. What is the picture? Yes. Now I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix the veggies with the chicken and the heat of the wok. And of course, the heat of the chicken will uh, have um, influence on the time to get the veggies well for the meal. It already looks beautiful. And like that keep it on high fire keep that fire hard and make sure that you don't walk away from it i love that smell so i'm going to test my rice for a minute because i think it's going to be awesome yeah mm. Mm. good show good show you're good he's dancing for me and he's playing music david loves music so, okay, that's done. My pineapple is cleaned up, and I'm uh, I'm just gonna throw the pineapple away. Wow! 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 So okay, right now I'm just gonna use like maybe half a pineapple. So let me just um, cut that half a pineapple in pieces. Maybe I'm not even going to use a half a pineapple. I think I'm going to just use a quarter of the pineapple because you don't want any ingredients too much in a meal. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want any ingredients um, overwhelming one meal because you want to taste everything a little bit. That's the quality of a good cook. That's the, the you know what I mean? That's uh, the way to prepare food to the best, just to cut it for what you need and fill it up, but don't let one ingredient overrule, overrule the meal. Um, I'm gonna add some soy sauce extra because I put just ingredients in there, like the veggies, and they have no seasoning at all, and you don't wanna take away the seasoning that you gave to the chicken. So of course, a little pepper, a little garlic powder, I used a little soy sauce, and because I'm also going to use pineapple, I'm also going to use um, some extra, and I will show you what I'm going to use, guys, because um, I'm going to add some orange. some orange juice, will absolutely do a lot to your meal, and it will be absolutely a, a, a fantastic add-on to your dish. So just a little bit of orange juice in there, not too much, again, like what I just told you, don't let one ingredient take over the flavor of your meal. Um, so we got some orange juice, we got the veggies in there. Keep staring it around, keep walking it around. Normally if you're in a walk restaurant, your meal is already done because they got a walk burner that is absolutely perfect to the walk that you have. Again, in the spring, in the summer, I will do that for you exactly the same. But then outside in my backyard with a nice campfire in the back and some torches. Um, and we have a nice atmosphere in the back. Uh, and we have, we'll have some guests being part of the show. Right now, I'm just going to finish my pineapple for the rest of the family. Because I just know that we're going to eat it tonight or tomorrow night. So just take a little bowl, just clean it up. As you see, you always, uh, the, the lead, I would say the lead, you always um, cut the pineapple in four pieces. When you peel it and you cut out the salmon, you're going to eat the salmon because the salmon is tough and it's um, something that is not really that flavorful. But if you're going to use 
the producers in a, in a juice machine or something like that, you're going to use a whole pineapple. But in this case, um, we're not. We're not going to use a whole pineapple. I got a nice little bowl. That's for later on for my family and myself. To eat some pineapple. As you see, it goes quickly. And this is all the Santa cuts that I delete. Santa cuts that I just throw away. I don't need that. So, okay. That's that. Making sure that we don't have too much dishes, what I always tell you guys. So my rice is relaxing. My rice is relaxing. My veggies are getting there. I got some pineapple to finish it up with some peanuts. But first, let me stir this again properly. My rice is done. This is going to be an awesome meal. It's going to be absolutely stunning. I love the smell already of the ingredients that I put in. I'm going to throw in my peanuts. Peanuts, not a little, not a lot, just a little bit. Just like what I told you with all the other ingredients. Just a little bit of peanuts is more than enough. Because again, you don't want no uh, ingredient that's taking over control. So, okay, guys. Um, peanuts are in there. Fire is high. My rice is ready. Now, I'm going to put my pineapples in there. Just nice pieces of pineapples. Uh, I like a little bit of chunks because I want to bite on the ingredients that are inside. I want to taste my ingredients that are inside. I want to make sure that everything that I use, that I also feel on my tongue, I feel in my mouth. So, okay. It's just going to stir it up. And it's almost done. Because when you put the pineapples in there, guys, as soon as you put the pineapples in there, it's going to take one minute, maybe two, and it's a, it, that's it. You smell the orange juice, you smell, man, my wife is going to love me for this. More, more than she already did. I was not done yet. She's just too fast for talking, guys. Sorry, that's women. Man, you know that. Um, they never let you finish. They always throw their words in there. I don't know why they do that. I got two sisters. I love them. It's the same. It's the same. Okay, okay, okay. You see that? They get they immediately they pull their guns and put their arms on and just go in there. Um, but yeah, I've been raised by three ladies. And so I know them. I know them. Maybe they don't think I know them, but I know them. Um, best woman in the world taught me how to play with food, so I respect women, absolutely. Um, oh, my wife, if she had the possibility to come right now here just to smell what I made for her, she's six miles away from here, she's telling me that smells good, so I, I, I just hope she really smells it. It is looking beautiful. It is absolutely uh, a beautiful meal. I will, uh, Facebook, I will absolutely uh, show you. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with the second camera uh, for Bitchat and uh, YouTube and Twitter. Guys, um, what do I got here? Nee, Natalia, wie geht's, mein Freund? Alles okay da in Deutschland? An deinem Mutter. Das ist uh, sehr toll, dass ich sehe, dass du bist da uh, online und ja, uh, um, yes, that is German. Very good, meine Dame. Uh, and see, uh, how you say that in, uh, in German? Uh, watch my show. It looks like you have a show, guys. <laughs> um, this, here, um, guys, this is it. I mean, uh, you see that? It's ready. Uh, I'm put the fire out, and uh, everything is more than done. You see that chicken, you see that rice, you see all the ingredients in there, and then, of course, I say you see the rice. You know, this is the rice. You see the rice. You see that? It looks awesome. And of course, there's my son jumping around. Hey, wow! He put all his cars in one row. You see that, guys? He in his cars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's right away. Hello. Hello. Good. 
So, okay, guys. Um, Bill and Neil Peters almost done. Uh, and so, what we have is an awesome meal, an energy meal. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You did a good job, buddy, over there. So, I will make a plate for you guys so you can see what I did. An Asian meal with chicken tenders. I cut them little thin bars. I marinated it this morning. A big chat, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. That chicken, I marinated in a soy sauce that I mixed with ginger, orange juice, uh, crushed peppers, uh, roasted peppers. I put some um, uh, fresh garlic in there and some and it's uh, the chicken tenders were in the marinade since this morning about nine or ten o'clock. Yes, buddy. Oh wow! Oh, the low flip, just like Harrison, buddy. So and um, I cut up some uh, veggies, broccoli, green peppers, shallots, onions, and more fresh garlic. The Asian kitchen loves to use garlic. Um, I have some. Uh, what was it more? Uh, did I say pineapple I got in there, I got peanuts in there. I did everything in the wok that I normally use outside. It's an awesome wok right now. I cannot lift it up for you guys because I will, I can. Like that, you see also the size of the wok. It's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful wok. It has a beautiful uh, uh, feature of uh, ingredients in there and Everything like that. Oh, I have some white mushrooms in there. Don't forget that. Asian kitchens love to use mushrooms. Normally, they use like cicada mushrooms or hotel uh, mushrooms. I don't have that. I just had the white mushrooms that I had. And the rice that I used is a wild rice. It's a wild rice. As you see, it's already dried up. It's cooked. It's beautiful. It's with um, beautiful seasoning that I put in there. Um, and, and this is the meal for today. Neil and Neil and Peter today was an awesome show. The 30 minutes are over, and I will finish up a plate for you guys so you, that you have an idea. Uh, I forgot to do one thing. Um, don't throw with the cars, bro. Me go in with the autos. The autos can pop. The car's gonna break when you're gonna throw them. Um, the price of this meal. So the price of this meal. This is a meal for like I got chicken and veggies for like five, six people. I rice, I only cook rice for like three people because of course I'm not gonna eat rice a whole week with this. Um, but this meal was with the chicken tenders, I think that was the most expensive stuff. The marinade I made myself with a lot of ingredients that in my, I had in my home. Um, so the rice and the chicken I think were the most expensive ingredients. The pineapple was not even, it was $1.20. Rice was like uh, $1.50. The chicken tenders was I believe like $5.50, $6. Uh, I had a little peanuts, I'm not even counting that, and uh, the broccoli, I use half of a, of a broccoli proportion that I bought for like also 150, 160, so 75 cents, chicken, I use for the chicken, so you have the chicken for like 5.50, say 6 bucks, you got the broccoli, I use half of it, 6.75, rice is 150, so 675, that's 725, that's 825. And I used a, a pineapple, say a buck, 825, 925. This, with all the ingredients, everything together, say $10. But what I got here in this pan is for like four or five people of meat and veggies and rice is for three. But you got for $10 food for like half a week if you're only by yourself or you're with two or three people. So guys, also big and, and, and YouTube and Twitter. This is very easy to make. Uh, Facebook, it's fast, it's simple, it's healthy. You're going to like it if you're going to make it at home. You see, I talk more than I cook. So at the end of the story, I can make this meal in 20 minutes. But of course, I have to also entertain you guys and tell you what I'm using. So you got a meal for almost $10 that is going to be healthy, it's going to be fast, and it's going to be absolutely stunning where you can please your family with. And it's different than your normal potatoes and veggies and meat or fish. Fast so, Fast and Furious is what my wife says. I call it fast fit food. Uh, guys, I really appreciate that you're watching the show on Bitchat, YouTube, and of course Facebook. I will finish it up. I will put the chicken and uh, the veggies around the rice. And then, of course, I'm going to show you the end result. And you will see the mushrooms a little bit in there. It's, it's a delicious meal. You got a nice gravy that you can use for your rice. And then, of course, 
Um, I would say bon appetit. Guys, this is it. First for the second camera for YouTube and for Bridget. Hey, what the Bridget? Hey, what? The pop is bijna klaar. Uh, Bridget, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, from above, this is a beautiful meal. This is it. Meal on the repeater is ready for today. Facebook, guys. This is an awesome dish. It's healthy, it's colorful, and it's tasteful, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. And I hope to see you next Sunday with me on the Peter here on BitChat, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, wherever you can find me, I'm there. My name is Peter, straight from New Jersey, East America. In Europe right now, it's six hours later. And uh, of course, in California earlier. So still, I wish everybody a happy, good night, be good to the food, and the food will be good to you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace.